up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interest me in the past week. Let's get into this. Now first of all, I do want to apologize for not having, I don't think I had a video up last week at all, which is very unusual and it felt very weird going a week without making a video really tripped me out. But uh, yeah, there was just a whole bunch of stuff that came up um, and it's also December. Christmas, like working during December is just insane. So uh, I've got a spare minute to record a video now. So I thought I would just sort of catch up on everything that I I missed last week. And I think the week before, because I didn't do a, a Les talk last week. So let's get into this. Firstly, just quickly, um, I did want to quickly mention, I finally got around to watching uh, Colette, which is a movie starring Kira Knightley. Um, and I finally got to watch it. I just wanted to give you guys just my quick thoughts on it because I know some people have been asking if I had watched it or not and I finally got around to doing that. And honestly, I really, really liked it. I did. I mean, I love Keira Knightley. Like, I'm in love with her, been in love with her since Bender like Beckham, you know? Like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I did enjoy it. I did enjoy it. I really hated, like, the, all the dudes in that show. <laughs> <laughs> but I I liked it. I did like it. And I would recommend checking it out if you have the opportunity. Um, it was definitely a very interesting watch, but also, like, Keira Knightley making out with chicks was great. So, yay. <laughs> but moving on from that, I did want to talk about the shows that I missed, or well, that I haven't talked about, uh, which is the crossover, um, and in particular Batwoman. I want to talk about Legends, and I want to talk about Legacies. So, let's get into those. My thoughts on Batwoman. Honestly, I really, really liked Batwoman. I think Ruby Rose did a good job. I think she did a better job as Kate Kane than as Batwoman. Woman. I think they're still trying to find Batwoman's style, maybe. Um, I want to see, I, I guess, her fighting style more. I, But I am I am giving them the benefit of the doubt of, like, you know, this is the first time they've, they've put on the suit, that Ruby Rose put on the suit, that they're trying to fight with the suit. Um, they're just working out the kinks. I'm giving them that. So I'm really hoping they sort of... What's the word? Uh polish Batwoman up a bit more in the series, but I think Ruby Rose did a good job as like Kate Kane. Um, and I am excited. I am from seeing Batwoman in the crossover. I am excited for the series still. I am very excited for the series. And Gotham looks like an interesting world to explore. It looks dark. Honestly, I, if you guys, I did do reactions to both Legends and the crossovers. So I did like four reactions last week. They are all up. So if you guys want to go check out my Patreon, they're all there. Um, but I mentioned in my crossover sort of review, uh, reactions, I should say, um, I would like them to take notes from Legends more and like not take themselves so seriously because I feel like those shows really excel when they're just goofing around and having fun with themselves. Um, and I think that was probably one of my biggest criticisms of the crossover was there were little parts that were, they goofed around a little bit and they played with like the goofiness that is superhero-ness, you know, like they're wearing tights. Come on. Um, <laughs> I, they have little parts like that. And I think that's where they really excel. And I think they need to like have that integrated more. Um, and so I feel like, yeah, I think they're missing an opportunity not going that route. Um, and I think it's going to play a big part, obviously, in Batwoman. It looks like another very dark, serious show. Um, but I am excited for it. I am excited for Batwoman, Ruby Rose. I'm excited to see what stories they tell. Yeah, I am still excited for it. But yeah, I did like the crossover. I thought it was good. Um, yeah, like I said... Just, you know, it would have been nice if they had a bit more lightheartedness to it. Um, I also, I like I mentioned in my reaction, I also mentioned um, I really like the person they have playing Superman, Tyler something. I really like him and I thought him and Lois were great together. Um, I, I think he's probably my favourite, like, Superman, but I don't like when they bring Superman into, like, these shows, to be honest, because they always nerf Supergirl to give Superman parts. Like, I don't understand why, like, why only Superman could do the book thing. Like, we all know Supergirl is stronger than Superman. I, yeah, I don't like when they bring Superman on the show because they always nerf Supergirl for him. And it's just like, why? Why even bother? Just give Supergirl the parts. Like, 
you don't need to bring Superman on, which is it. I don't know. It's it's such a weird thing because, like I said, I really I th- like he's probably my favorite Superman, and I like seeing him. But I hate that they always nerf Supergirl for him. But it does look like I think they're they're actually like saying goodbye to Superman. They're shipping him off to Argo for a good while. So I think that might actually be the last time we see of him for a good while anyway. But moving on to Legends. Legends had their uh, mid-season finale, and oh, Legends is just like uh, such a good show they are the best dc tv show out there like i said i love that they just don't take themselves seriously they just they understand what they are and they embrace it you know they embrace the silliness the stupidness that is legends of tomorrow and it's just they it's everything because of that this their mid-season finale was incredible Ugh, can i just say shipping the hell out of Zari and Charlie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. They give me serious, like, Avalette's, like, first half of season three feels. I'm shipping them so hard. I just, oh, oh, oh. (laughs) Yeah, I need, I need them to happen. And they're really teasing them. Like, they're really teasing them. And I'm like, are they actually going to go there? Are they actually going to go there? Oh. Oh, I just love Legends. And like, SOS. Oh, that killed me. Hello, SOS. <laughs> it was just like such a spot on mid-season finale. The only bad thing about it was knowing that we have to wait until April until it comes back. Oh. Yeah, honestly, the, it's just, this, the show is just gold. It is just pure gold. It's just everything, everything. The other DC TV shows can really learn something from Legends. They can seriously learn something from Legends because Legends knows who they are and they embrace it. They embrace it fully and I'm here for it. But yeah, really loved Legends. I did enjoy the crossover. I loved Batwoman. I'm very excited for her. So the DC TV sort of like last week that they had was good. I enjoyed it. There was a lot that happened, but I enjoyed it. And yeah, I'm very just happy. (laughs) Moving on, I want to talk about legacies um, because I was going to talk about this last week, but again, like I said, I didn't do any videos. Um, And I'm I'm wanting to talk about more particularly episode six uh, instead of episode seven, which was their mid-season finale, because I don't really have a lot to talk about that episode. But I want to talk about episode six because, wow, I've gotten a lot of feels from that episode. So... (laughs) With all my other videos, I have had like this one video, I'm like, oh, I'm a hosey shipper. And the next video, I'm like, oh, I'm a posy shipper. I just like switch from hosey to posy. And like these names, they're just, they sound so stupid when you say them together. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys have seen my previous legacy videos, you will know this. I just, I love both hosey and I love posy. I just love them both so much. But episode six, oh, wow. <laughs> What I got from episode six is I'm just, I am a a Josie, Hope, and Penelope shipper. Give me that OT3. Oh, episode six where Hope and Penelope were both fighting for their girl. Oh my God. I was here for it. Wrecking zombies together. Oh, they were really fighting for her. I am here for this OT3. Good God. This is what I'm here for. Give me all three of them. I don't... Don't need no love triangle. Don't need anything. Just give me OT3. Oh, can you imagine all three of them? Oh my God. Wow. (laughs) But seriously, I just, I love all of them. You know, I am such a shipper of Posey. Like Penelope is such a shit stirrer, like such a tease. Um, But like, you know, she was worried for Josie. She was like wondering where she was when she didn't turn up. Um, and she fully went fighting for her, and then that kiss. Oh, that tension, that chemistry, and Josie, like, full on, like, in the middle of the kiss is like, I hate you. And I'm like, oh, I'm here for this. I really am. I'm really here for this. This Posey is just, it's got it all going on. But on the flip side, Hope sending Josie that necklace for her birthday. Oh God, that got me. That got me. And then her fully like, like, just like her, like, I don't know how to explain it, but her like really yelling to like, for what is it? MG, MJ, MG. 
to like find Josie. Oh man, she was worried. Oh man. I just, I ship both Hosey and Posey, but I also ship all, all three of them. Like what's their, their OT3 name? I don't even know, but like, honestly, I'm here for that more than anything. <laughs> I'm here for that OT3. Oh, wow. Oh, but yeah, I'm loving, I'm loving legacies. And I'm wondering if I should start doing like separate possible reaction and review videos when they come back in January. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments if you would like to see like potential review videos and like uh, its own separate, uh, wait, it, reaction videos and its own separate review videos like I do for like Legends and Supergirl. Um, yeah, let me know if you like to see that or if you just like me, you know, talking about the highlights in my Les talk. Um, but yeah, Legacies, loving it. But I think that's all I'm going to fit in for today's video. Uh, again, apologies for last week. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I want to give a big thank you to my Patreon sponsors. We've got Marissa, Corey and Kathy. You guys are incredible and help me do what I do. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.